How do you teach your dog to get in a tight heel position? What exercises can you do to improve your walks with your pup? In this video, we'll share some of our tips on how you can achieve that. Today we're going to tackle the topic of loose leash walking. And this one's an important one. I remember when we first had Gandalf as a puppy, we would see these other dogs walking around town and they'd walk in a perfect heel while this guy would pull everywhere and he'd bounce all over the place. It just takes a little bit of work. Uh, some of the concepts that we've talked about previously uh, will compound into uh, things that we learned about today. And so number one, it really begins with engagement. Your dog needs to be able to trust you. Your dog needs to be able to look for you for guidance because out in the real world, there's gonna be a bunch of distractions. And so the goal of our exercise is to first engage our dog so that they understand to look at you so we're gonna show you some exercises to show how to get their attention, and then we'll head out into the real world. Here on our walk, you'll see that Gandalf is frequently checking in on me, looking up in the corner of his eyes. He knows that if he pays attention to me, good things will happen. Ultimately, our goal is to teach our dog that we are the most important thing in the environment. It's not the squirrel or other dogs. He needs to know that I am the person that provides the leadership, guidance, and even fun. This bond takes time. Anytime you play fetch and spend quality time together, your dog will continue to build this level of trust so that when you are out and about, he will ultimately trust your guidance and leadership. I'm working with Gandalf in my backyard where there is limited distractions. I lure him into my heel position with a treat. I take a step forward and mark immediately if he stays at my side. In the beginning, reward your dog for every step and then over time, you can increase the steps in between the rewards. Try turning as I do here as well, and you can walk in a nice relaxing pace. As your pup progresses in this exercise, you can have them even do secondary commands such as sit or down, and then resume walking. If you find that your dog is easily distracted outside, you can work on this exercise even in the house. Gandalf makes it look easy here because he's been doing this for years. However, as a puppy, he would be easily distracted. When a leaf blew by, he would lunge towards it. Whenever he saw another person or dog, he would get pretty excited and lose composure. You can go ahead and mix up some additional commands here just to make it interesting. Here I have Gandalf sit, stop, and also give me knuckles. Working with this exercise in the house helps your dog understand what you are trying to get him to do. After getting familiar with this exercise here, you can take it out to the front yard. Here I continue the exercise with the lead. Although Gandalf stays at my heel position early on, your dog may get distracted by a dog walking by or even a car driving past. The lead is an excellent tool to be able to call back your dog and give a gentle pull if they do not respond initially. It's important to keep the safety of your dog. You'll see here that I point Gandalf to get in a tighter heel with my two fingers. Once in a while, when I need him closer because there is an incoming group or another dog, I have Gandalf hug closely to my heel position. Sometimes, if I see that an incoming distraction may be too much for him to handle, I may even place him in a down position and have him focus completely on me until the distraction passes. My main goal is to try to have him succeed as much as possible based on his limits that I have observed. When Gandalf was younger, he was much better with other dogs. However, as he got older, he generally doesn't like other dogs approaching him, especially other puppies. I do my best to steer away from other dogs to help him succeed, knowing that it is one of his weaknesses when other dogs try to greet him. In this next variation, you'll see that I position Gandalf to face me, and then I signal him with a fist to come to my side position, which is opposite to the heel. I would say that 90% of the time, I place Gandalf in a heel position, so his side command is not as strong. But he still gets it here. Let's go back inside so I can show you a quick tip to get a tight heel position. Grab a small box. The first step is to get your dog to step onto the box. 
In the beginning, mark when they touch the box. After, raise the criteria by marking only when they stand on the box. We use the box as a guide so that Gandalf can be aware of his position of his front paws and use his back paws to pivot into the proper position for a heel. This allows Gandalf to stay tight against my leg even when we turn in a different direction. By doing this exercise, you can teach your dog to get into a tight heel and side position. Here, you see me slowly learn Gandalf with this gibble. At first, your pup may naturally fall off the box as the first inclination is to adjust the front leg. Over time, your pup will begin adjusting their rear legs instead of their front and be more efficient with the rotation. Overall, this exercise helps with rear leg coordination, strengthening the overall dexterity of your dog. As your dog gets more advanced, you can rotate between a heel and side fluidly like I do here. I love how Gandalf carefully looks down to get proper footing on the box, but he also looks up to make sure he is in the right position. He's working hard to get this right. Good job, Gandalf. Good boy. It's time to get rid of the box. Watch Gandalf stick this heel work now without the box. He stays tight against my heel and carefully rotates without the box. We take our time here, but you can see that Gandalf knows what he is supposed to do, and he follows my lead closely. We hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you learned something, be sure to give this video a like to tell Gandalf that he's a good boy. Our goal once again is not to train Gandalf to be a champion show dog. Instead, we hope we can inspire others to make dog training as a part of their everyday routine with their pups. Let us know what you think about this method of training a heel and side position. Let us also know if you attempt doing it. We would love to hear about your progress. If you missed our other videos from our training series, you can take a look at the playlist here. And if you want to learn more about corgis, check out this series as well. Thanks for watching.